Hello, sports co- sports broadcasting fans. My name is John Lewis, and you are listening to another edition of Sportscaster Chronicles, the place that reminds sports fans that not all the great plays and exciting action happens down on the field. Sometimes it happens up in the broadcast booth, and uh, we are excited and uh, honored to welcome our guest today. He is a man who's been calling uh, Major League Baseball for uh, almost 40 years. Uh, he was the original voice of the Montreal Expos, called them for 32 seasons, and the past eight years has been radio voice of the Fish, the Florida Marlins, a member of uh, Canada's Baseball Hall of Fame, is a winner of the annual Jack Graney Award, and maybe we can talk a little bit about Jack, another great uh, Canadian. We welcome for the first time to Sportscaster Chronicles, Mr. Dave Van Horn. Dave, welcome to Sportscaster Chronicles. John, a pleasure. It'd be good to talk to you. Uh, obviously, a lot going on. Uh, the uh, the trading deadline coming up, uh, ending in a few hours, actually, today, th- the uh, Thursday, July uh, 31st. Everything that you're hearing on your end, uh, Dave, uh, from uh, your GM, Michael Hill, is indeed uh, Manny Ramirez coming to the Marlins. Well, uh, of course, the, the deal has not been done Uh but the, the, I think there are at least three teams involved in, in the whole package, and uh, there's, there's a lot to be accomplished. Uh, first of all, uh, Manny Ramirez, as you know, has a right of refusal on the, on the whole deal. Uh, that I know of, the last news that we got, he still hadn't been approached. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, they're working hard at it. It, it. it can get very convoluted when you're dealing with a lot of contracts and moving people. And then uh, if, if it's a three-way deal, why you've, you've got that, that third party that's also involved. And uh, these things have a, have a way of changing minute by minute. Uh, for example, I don't know that this really happened, but uh, last night they said that one of the holdups on the deal was the fact that uh, after framing the work of the deal, uh, that then the Marlins said, okay, now we need to just change one thing. Well, it could be Pittsburgh saying we need to change one thing, or Boston says we need to add this or subtract that, and uh, these, these things take some time. And we all know by experience, too, John, that when there is a trading deadline, whether in the old days it was midnight or whether in the case of uh, nowadays where it's a 4 p.m. Eastern uh, deal, uh, as far as the deadline is concerned, that some of these deals are announced like at 3.59, or it used to be at 11.59, and uh, right at the bewitching hour. So uh, only time's going to tell, but it's a, it's a pretty exciting thought because Manny Ramirez, of course, is an impact player. Yes, he is, and uh, those three ways you're talking about, Jason Bay would go to the Red Sox, and uh, Jeremy Hermida would go to the Pirates. Uh, Dave, to me, and a lot of baseball experts, this this deal is uh, is strange to say the least. It doesn't make sense on a lot of levels. Uh, first of all, the Marlins known for having a very low, uh, you know, payroll, twenty two million dollars, one of the lowest in the league, and not the lowest. Uh, it doesn't really address any of the needs that they that they desperately uh, want: uh, catching, pitching, you know, outside of selling a lot of tickets and bringing in a huge headache to the clubhouse and the craziness that's uh, many uh, Ramirez. Uh, what do you think Michael Hill is thinking? Well, I, I, I think he's obviously they're thinking positively. They're, they're thinking this. Uh, it would be really a matter of having Manny uh, in a Marlins uniform for two months. And then it would be structured in such that uh, he would become a free agent after that. So uh, the, the hope is that he would come down here, have, a, have something to prove in those two months uh, to, to perhaps repair a, a little bit of a damaged uh, image and, and as well, stay out on the field and play hard every day and help this young Marlins team. Uh, the Marlins' objective this year is to get to the playoffs and then go as far and as deep into the playoffs as they possibly can. That's what they want to do. I don't think there's any chance in the world that uh, Manny Ramirez would be here beyond uh, just the final two months of, of this season. So their hope is that he would come down here really charged up and excited about uh, the opportunity Uh, to show the baseball world that he's still uh, Manny Ramirez as far as the bat is concerned and the production is concerned, and that's what the Marlins are interested in. Another note, too, Manny has a home right here just minutes from the ballpark, as a matter of fact. Over in Weston, he has a home here. He has a child in school here. Uh, Manny has ties to, to South Florida, and it may be a very comfortable situation for him if, indeed, his Boston...